Hi guys, it's uh, Stockhill here. Today I'm going to show you a, a pretty good alternative to Cody. For many years I don't know uh, about Cody. Right now Cody is currently being buttfed up by repositories being took down by the police and government and shit like that. Uh, and it's leading to like basically not being able to watch anything since it's not there anymore. So uh, all you got to do is for this, it's just an Android emulator for your PC. And uh, you want to go to this link in the description. I'll put it in the obviously the description just said that. And then you might click this and it'll take you to like a white screen. And then after like a few seconds you'll get a an EXE file down here. But I've already got that. It does take a wee minute especially because my internet is slow as tits. As you can see it's taking one minute to download fucking a hundred megabytes. So just waiting for this. I probably might even just edit this part out. Probably won't because I'm lazy as fuck. But uh, yeah, all this is is just basically opens up a an Android emulator for your PC, and then th on the emulator you just download an app called Showbox, and it's basically just better than Kodi. I find it so much more easier. There's like basically no SD links, which is like low quality. It's all pretty much HD good. The only thing is with movies is how on Kodi you you can watch like cam held movies like from Guardians of the Galaxy two etc. They aren't actual out in HD yet. Whereas with Showbox you only get the HD one, so you won't see like Guardians of the Galaxy, but you can see Wonder Woman that just recently got leaked online. But uh, this has three seconds left, and this is a uh, really good. I've only recently started using this myself. Uh, because I've been looking to get an Android emulator for my PC so that way I can play some games. Because I use a GPT XD as my primary handheld console. For those of you who don't know what that is, I probably might do a video on it since it is like amazing. I'm so in love with it. Uh, once this loads up, all you want to do is uh, just click install. And it'll take a, a few minutes. Apparently, some in some cases, Depending on what antivirus you use, this might come up weird. It might say like, you need to allow this to go through your antivirus wall or whatever. But I use Avast and Windows thingy and it doesn't even run ham. So, I don't know what that means. I know how it says here, please turn off your antivirus software. But, I'm fine with uh, Avast. I have not come up to with any issues with it. I've used this for about two months now. Ever since the whole Cody apocalypse started happening, and I couldn't actually find good repositories. Here's the thing with uh, the Cody ones: there's as many videos up there showing you like how to get these cool repositories and builds, but every time I tried to do them, they were all just wouldn't work. They're all based on Exodus, and Exodus recently has been, I think, fully took off Cody now. Don't quote me on that, but literally. Uh, this is just loading up into the actual emulator itself now. And it only took like, I don't know, currently it's only took 3 minutes and 27 seconds. So, this is pretty, pretty deep. And it'll load you up, and you just wait to skip all this push, I'll show you all this. Uh, what you want to do is, first of all you want to go up here to this be setting. Look at that. You want to enable soft keyboard for whatever you're in code and uh, code. God damn it! Showbox. You can't actually hit enter. It doesn't really do anything. So you have to actually load up this little, like how you would on an actual Android tablet, like the wee touch screen thing. Uh, and then you want to go to advanced and click high. It just basically gives you more RAM and more hanging if you can afford it. Some PCs might obviously not be able to, but means it's alright. It means it's pretty pretty shitty. You might just click save and then it will restart it. And it should only take like a few seconds after that to load back up again. Yeah. It's really good. The only downsides that I've ever seen with Showbox is sometimes it crashes, but as soon as it crashes, you can literally just click on it again and then you're pretty much fine. Uh, and I'll show you where it gets Showbox from. You just want to go over your browser. Go to the internet tab. And this is like the keyboard thing I was telling you. 
you don't actually need to touch it, you can just type on your keyboard as well and it'll just work the same. Just type in shoebox, hit enter. And then there's the first line, this one here. Show me location, no thanks. You come into this page, you scroll all the way down until you see this. Click that, be bad boy. And my browser stopped. Weird. Uh, you want to click this one, the very first one. These, these are the oldest versions, but I don't know. There's really no point in doing that, you can just click these ones. And then download it via browser. Uh, just once, I suppose. And then it says download now. That was really weird how it crashed fucking browser. Well, this is downloaded and I'll take you around through the, the side menu thing. You don't really need to know much about it other than this one here, which makes it go full screen. Now, all you can do is hit escape and it'll go back to regular. And then these two, these three bottom ones, sorry, this is your back. So if you open up like, oh, fucking this, you press this, and it'll ask you to exit and exit. Or you can just press that and it'll take you right back to your home. And this is like your task manager thing, which shows you which things you have open. So if you have too many open, you can just click and drag upwards, or you can just hit remove from the list, if you hold down. Yeah, and that's uh, just wait on this be cuck downloading. Like I said, my internet speed is pretty bad, so everything does take longer for me. So it should be alright for you guys. Come on, boy. But uh, I'm hoping to do more sort of tutorial things and reviews. Of this really dank awesome tent that I have, which uh, for some reason there's like no reviews up on it on YouTube whenever I was wanting to buy it. So I'm thinking about doing my own version of it, which means you can see my sexy little fat face. Almost finished now. And you could just click install, next, blah, install, and it's installing. Open. And the good thing about this is, you can also just do this on your, like, if you have like, an Android tablet or a phone, and it's, it's the exact same thing. You have these three pop-ups, because it's a free appware thing. You just click on it, and it'll give you this, and you just click on this. Oh, box. Lol. You just click on the side, and it'll go away. And then you want to click up here, and then it'll give you movies, TV, etc, etc. For, like, the newest movies, the newest HD movies, you click on the new releases and then go over to movies and it will show you the brand new ones that are out like the mummy you might not actually see this on the movies page itself yeah you don't, I do but sometimes there's movies that you won't see on this actual movies page itself but you'll see it on the new releases so already you can see you have like Wonder Woman, Power Rangers John Wick Chapter 2, I'm not going to actually click on any of these in case like copyright strikes or whatever that bullshit but just me, I've watched pretty much all of these myself, and they're all off HD, and even with my shitey internet, it does work fine. Same with uh, TV shows, you can just click TV shows, and it will show you what you want. If you want to, uh, pardon me, if you want to search for a specific, a specific show, you just uh, type it in with your keyboard, uh, or put an arrow or some shit. And usually if you hit enter it, with your keyboard, it doesn't actually search. That's what I was saying, you want to enable that soft keyboard, so when you open up like this, you actually just click search yourself, and it will search for it. And it gives you like everything you need, and it's pretty, pretty good. I've never, I haven't came across anything that isn't on it yet, like as far as TV show wise, and I like to watch really, not only TV shows, but back there, you know. Uh, and the good thing about this is, is you can sort it by other things, obviously, like that bad boy. If you want like the dates added or the ratings or the general John genre? Genre? I'm not sure how you say that. Yeah. And it's pretty good. It's a really good alternative to Cody. I've been loving it. Because with Cody in the past in like the last late months of the Cody apocalypse thing. I was trying to watch like a TV series and it was giving me season one, even though I was on like season five, and it was giving me like I can't even explain what pixel that shit was, it was just bloody, it was like one huge big massive pixel and it was disgusting to watch. Whereas this is actually pretty, pretty good. So uh, that's all for this one. I'll probably even try and maybe do some more. I know there's a lot of really good 
uh, Android apps, to give you like live TV and live sports and shit. So I'll maybe even do some stuff like that for you as well. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. If you have any issues, just uh, put down in the comments. And I'll try and help you out whenever I can. Bye.